It's just, that's, that's a whole different kind of comfortable. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Last time I felt movement like that, 23 and a half years ago, was yeah. since my accident. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> Well, today's adventure brings me down to Rochester. Lim Lab's got a few patients that want to try out some of our gear. We got the VersaFoot, Moto Knee, and a couple other bits and pieces here to, to show off. Here's the VersaFoot. So the unique part about it is, is the, the range of motion. It's got up to like uh, 28 degrees of dorsiflexion, which the resistance is all adjustable uh, as far as air pressure and hydraulic control. Snowboarding is probably about the most common, but um, Second most common is actually like gym training, CrossFit type activities, um, like doing squats and deadlifts and stuff. It really gives you that natural range of motion, um, you know, as you're going through the different lifts and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's really unique. I, lo I love the reaction I get when the first time somebody tries one of our feet on for the first time and, and it has that real fluid motion and they're like, oh yeah, this is, this is good. <laughs> we got a couple different sole plate options. This one's a shoe sole. And then also we've got a foam sole that is used inside of a shoe or boot. You need different types of shoes for different activities, so you can just put it over top. Yeah, so this one's the Moto Knee. Same idea, it absorbs those impacts. And then the compressed air in this Fox Shock works kind of like your quadricep muscles, so it assists you to stand back up again. For the activities it's designed for, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. I was in a car, bad car accident where I fell asleep at the wheel. Took my whole foot off my ankle, basically. They repaired it, 16 screws, four plates in it. The bone ended up dying and okay. it kept traveling. And so I had them do the baloney, which was the better better option. But then I was in a uh, moped accident about a year and a half later and my prosthetic twisted and it broke the, the rest of my residual limb clear to the back of my knee. Oh, dang. And so I couldn't wear a prosthetic for more than five minutes before it started hurting. So I don't, they couldn't do anything with it anyway. So I just had them do it again. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. And how is it going now with, with this setup? What is that, a Quattro? Yep, a Freedom Quattro. I love it. I mean, it's a good leg to, to move around in. And, I mean, I walk pretty good. So this is a, a Moto Knee. So the Moto Knee and VersaFoot, they use the same shock in both. Okay. Um, so the, there's three adjustments. There's the air pressure, which is the spring rate. That's what carries the weight. That's the, you know, like your quadricep muscle in there. Yeah. Um, and then there's hydraulic adjustments that control how quickly it reacts oh, that's uh, really to inputs. Cool. Um, the other really unique thing about this setup is the alignment options. Like we have different range of motion options right here. And then this okay. threaded rod back here changes what the starting angle is. Okay. So depending on the activity, like for example, skiing requires a, a, a high flex angle mm -hmm. at the beginning rate and compare that to like mountain biking. That's pretty much a standard you know, alignment, right. what you would typically wear on your everyday leg. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. It gets you measured up here and then I'll bolt one on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There, that's that's the full range right there. <laughs> that's crazy. So I'm gonna soften that up. Now flex the knee again. See, it just allows it to move just way oh, yeah. easier. Yep. We go to the other extreme and that's really stiff. So like I would say, <laughs> for example, if you're using it in the gym and you're mm -hmm. walking around, you just click that into the stiff position so it's more stable for walking. And sense. then when you want to go into your your uh, your move, okay. and it allows you to flex a lot That's easier. That's so cool. I think it would probably help me get more active. You know, I like doing CrossFit, but I used to hike. I used to, like I said, ride motorcycles and mopeds and biking and all that. And I would like to get back to that. And I think if I had something that brought me more confidence in knowing that I can do it and getting there, then that's where be most important for me. So you got your street bike there and you got your off-road bike there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Huh. 
<laughs> yes, <no. laughs> so I'm like the first one to see your natural stride since. Yeah. Nice. 24 years. Yep. It's just that's that's a whole different kind of comfortable. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Last time I felt movement like that, well, one, I can't remember, was 20, well, 23 and a half years ago was since my accident. And it's just, it's, it's very different. Like, you know, essentially had to learn it from walking on a regular foot and ankle to chunk of carbon fiber. <laughs> and then the fact that it, it comes back, you know, not just thinking to myself, I know, I know people that you know, I've lost limbs and all that stuff. That something like this is going to change our whole world. Oh. The, this would be a game changer, like in a very, very big way. Be able to, you know, won't have to, you know, take my kids to do something's like, well, yeah, you guys go ahead and climb up the hill. I'm going to take the long way around on the trail or whatever. I kind of feel like that. This would eliminate that. Right. You know, just just open up a whole new. Hmm whole new world of possibilities and potential hospital bills because <laughs> I, I, may, I may be grown, but I think, you know, like bring out the I, kid inside yeah, again. Still, huh? still, still a little stupid sometimes, <laughs> but the goal as as an amputee is you sh like the goal should be trying to be as symmetrical as possible because that yeah because when you're constantly lopsided, I mean that it affects. You know, your opposite knee, it affects your hips, and then it eventually does. your back. There's uh, two fundamental adjustments you can make. One is the air spring, which is with the air pump. That's what carries your weight. Uh, and then there's the hydraulic controls that control the speed at which it moves. Okay. And then this one has also a mechanical lock. So it just, it just locks it out. Um, you know, depending on what, what your activity is, it may require a higher uh, flexion angle to start with, okay. which makes for more unstable knee. So for example, um, if you're a snowboarder and you have this as your back leg, it requires more flex angle to start with to match the incline yeah. or decline, but that makes it more unstable to walk on. So then we have this mechanical oh, lock. Oh, okay. So you're not like falling over. <laughs> I haven't done this in forever. Further? Yeah, you, you can keep on going. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall on my butt. Oh wow, that is cool. Yeah, so like you're on the paddle board, you can be in that active active stance. Yeah. So just kind of like shift weight into it so it starts to compress, just like that. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. That is super cool. Yeah, I'm so much stronger on this leg. Right. <laughs> yeah. I baby it. The more time you spend in that, the more mm -hmm. comfortable you are, the more you can trust it and yeah. then realize like, oh, okay, well, I can do box jumps now or I can do lunges, uh, you know, it just kind of opens oh, doors yeah, up. Oh, yeah, I'd love to do those. And like for lunges, you know, I'm always, typically, I'm, I'm, I've got my hand on something mm -hmm. just to help with the balance. Yeah. Um, so then, you know, the knee can, you know, it lets you down and then it helps you back up, but it allows you to be like, balanced muscle activation. Okay. Sure. So yeah, why don't you kind of think about a lunge here. <laughs> nice, this, and, nice and slow. This one in the front or the back? Whichever, whichever <laughs> way you want. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so bring your knee down and then it's gonna help you come oh. back up. Oh, that is cool. Gosh, I haven't used those muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> It feels like it would support me more. Um, it's, I feel more grounded in my weight, more equal to be able to go all the way down in a squat. With this, yeah. sky's the limit. <laughs> 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 you want to be doing ballet for? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my kids keep telling me, Mother, would you quit climbing the ladders? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it cool? Like if I were to bend down like this, yeah, I'd be feeling full force on that tibia, and I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling no pain coming through it. You know, you don't even think you just do it. <laughs> yeah, yep. And normally that tibia would be whoa, and there's absolutely no pain there. Hey, I'm watching the shock, and it's actually it's yeah. moving a lot, so that's really good. Smooth. 
I usually, when I'm walking up our hills, I usually take pretty big steps. <laughs> so now I'm going to go the opposite direction with the red dial just so you can feel the full difference in range. Okay. And it's going to feel really dead. So this is your like slow walk. Mm hmm. It's like, don't fall over everything, Peggy. Come on. <laughs> You probably like it the other way better, right? Yeah, I don't like yeah. to walk very slow. <laughs> <laughs> I was inside I'm surprised of a shoe. I can do this. <laughs> Adds more air pressure and you could really do it for Yeah, really it's do just it quick. great. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's the best. <laughs> That's cool. It was, it's been an awesome day here at Lim Lab and um, it's such a great group of prosthetists and people, you know, forward thinkers outside of the box and always trying to progress the world of prosthetics and, and what's possible as an amputee. So definitely check them out if, if you're in the area of one of their uh, clinics. They do a great job. Today went well, you know, just seeing the reaction, you know, because I don't think a lot of them knew about our equipment before today. They were here, they just wanted to try something new and just seeing the reaction of, you know, those first few steps while they're wearing the Versa foot. I live for that. That's, that's the best thing ever because it is such a unique feeling. I mean, they're not even looking at it so much as a sport specific foot, but just a daily walker, um, just the way uh, they're able to, to glide across a Versa foot compared to a traditional composite foot, I mean, the flow of it is a lot smoother in a lot of cases. And just seeing that reaction be like, the, those first few bounces up and down, um, realizing that, oh, I got some motion or some range of motion to work with here is, uh, it's unique and I, I just love seeing that reaction. It's like a really unique piece of equipment that can like broaden their perspective of what's possible with prosthetic equipment. But yeah, check us out social media, my website, or talk to the guys here at Lim Lab. They'll get you all hooked up uh, with any information you need. If you're interested more in me, Mike Schultz, as the athlete, um, U.S. Paralympic snowboarder, um, I'm always competing somewhere around the world and currently shooting towards the 2026 Paralympic Games in Italy. So uh, yeah, a week from now, I'm hitting a, another flight over to Italy so uh, for another World Cup and always doing some kind of fun stuff. So follow along, Monster Mike Schultz on Instagram.